This video is a follow-up from the previous series where we learned how to set up a dedicated Ubuntu 16 server in the VirtualBox environment, how to assign a static IP to that test server. We then installed the OpenSSH server package, followed by creating a new user and assigning the pseudo privileges to that user. We finally made it so that we could log in to the server ro uh, remotely using the new user and the generated SSH key that we created for that user for the server so that we no longer needed a password. Now in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the Nginx server and use it as a reverse proxy. Now I've gone ahead and provided a link explaining what a, re what a reverse proxy is, so go ahead and read up on that if you're not really entirely sure. Um, what I want you to do now is I want you to open up a browser, but make sure you have your server started. So go ahead and select your server and start that up. Okay, so our server is up and running. Pull up, open your browser, like I said, and then go to the IP address that you assigned to your uh, server. So mine was 192.168.56.101. Now if I press enter, it says this site can't be reached. Don't worry about that. We're going to fix that with Nginx, where Nginx will send the port 80 to a certain directory which will contain a default like .html file in it or index.html. So you can go ahead and minimize that browser. I want you to go ahead and minimize your server as well and then go ahead and open up a terminal window or command prompt depending on the operating system you're in and then SSH using your user into your server. So for me it was my standard user using my private key. and I've gone ahead and logged in. Next, what we want to do is we want to install Nginx. So the next two commands are going to be installing Nginx and then starting the service of Nginx. So follow along. Okay, the service has been started. Pull your browser back open. Now, if you don't have the IP address in there and you closed your browser, go ahead and type the IP address in there. I'm simply going to type uh, or click the refresh button, and we now have our port uh, directly uh, forwarding to our port 80 directly forwarding to the directory var wwhtml, which contains uh, .html or a index.html file. Next, jump back over to your command prompt or your terminal window and I'm going to show you the uh, HTML directory. So if we go change directory and you're wondering how I know this, again I'll get over that as well, but if we change our directory to forward slash var forward slash www and then HTML we choose enter and then we do ls and it shows the index.deviant so if I go ahead and I copy this file and I come here and I put a forward slash and I paste it on in that's the file if I did anything else it would not work so index.html is not the default one we have set and it's gonna go file not found or document not found so again, you're probably asking, well, that's great. Where is it? How do I know this? How is it you know this? So come back in here. I'm going to clear this information out. And then what you're going to want to do is open up the default configuration. That is actually located in, we're going to change our directory to the etc directory. So forward slash etc. And then followed by nginx followed by sites-available dash 
and then press enter and then if we list the files in there we have the default file so you can use less you can use more you can use vi cat whatever you want to do I'm gonna run less and that prints out like page by page of the document we're displaying so not everything all at once so if we come here we notice that it says it's listening at port 80 as the default server perfect that's what we want it set at, at the moment um, the rest of this is going over your secure socket layers if you want to set that up if you need to set that up for a test server we don't technically need that but it might be something you want to look into so here it is it says the root directory is stored in var ww html cool that's what we wanted to know now it says the server name uh, we haven't actually given it a name underscore leave it as is it says here's your default uh, index home files like your your landing page files so we have index index html index htm index the one we actually know and then here's our location so the forward slash without anything after it means the root directory which would be here at the moment and it says uh, you're gonna do try files URL don't worry about that at the moment but that's basically saying wherever your directory is uh, this is what we're setting as the uh, the root directory location we're gonna come back in here and actually change that up later if you want to in the node.js environment and we'll have to set up additional locations for the MongoDB database that we'll also set up so thanks for watching you're like how do I get out of here just simply type colon Q and you're good